Hello world, I'm Louise Hicks, your host of Aim to Purpose, the radio show, and CEO and founder of L. Hicks Consulting Services, LLC. Yesterday, I changed my profile picture on Facebook to myself and my son, David, whom I'm holding here in my lap. And I decided that I would do a post because of that picture, because I had such a joyous heart yesterday, as well as a heavy heart yesterday. I was joyous because this is my son, what he looks like now. And this is a picture, a selfie that I took of who he is today compared to what he looked like a year ago when I became his conservator. My son, David, was diagnosed with a rare bone cancer in 1995 at the age of 14 and went on to battle drug addiction and the mental, what is called mental illness today. For the past 21 years, I have been fighting what I have now termed the medical mafia. And I say that with all sincerity because of what I have gone through over these 21 years. The last 10 to 15 being very, very crucial to my son and detrimental to his health. And I can truly say today that with my continued fight and struggle to get conservatorship, to get my son the help that he needs, this is what he looks like and what he looked like yesterday when he went for a follow-up surgery, um, post-op, I should say, follow-up post-op surgery at Keck USC Medical Center, where he had a surgery as well in 2014. And the sad part about it in 2014, when I saw my son, because I did not have conservatorship because he's an adult, had no control over his health care. He was in a gown, walking the street, looking really, really worn down because of all the dumping that had happened to him over the past 10 to 15 years, being in and out of different hospitals and not being given the proper care, given substandard care because he was unable to speak for himself. I was unable to speak for him. Now, with my ability to speak with my son the past year, this is what he looked, looks like today. And I'm proud to say that I thank God that I continue to pursue getting help for my son. And I wrote to President Obama. I wrote to, Senator, to Governor Jerry Brown. I wrote to Senator Dianne Feinstein of California. I wrote to Senator Tony Mendoza. I wrote to Congresswoman Christina Garcia. I wrote to um, Lucille Royball Allard. I wrote to the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, my supervisor, um, Kanabi the supervisor of the homeless, Antonovich. I went to my city council where I live in the city of Downey. All of these people, I could not get the help that I needed for my son. I spoke with the Los Angeles County Mental Health Department. They did provide some assistance through the Laura's Law. That's how I was able to get my son in a facility. He is now in a facility in 2014, when he was in the hospital and had the surgery due to an infection that he just had again this year, uh, September 2014, a little over a month ago, he was dumped back on the streets. But this time, he wasn't dumped. And I was pressured this time by uh, the hospital telling me about what the insurance uh, would do and what they wouldn't do. And I said, my son will not be dumped on the street. We have to take control of our medical care. We have to fight for our rights because my son has a right to have adequate medical care. That's what we pay our taxes for. 
and I demanded that my son would stay at this hospital until he was able and healthy enough to return to the facility where he is now located and has been for almost a year now. And I've had some challenges also with that facility and the Los Angeles County Mental Health uh, Department getting him one-on-one -on -one therapy that he needs. And I'm here to express to the world that the medical system here in America is broken. It's like a medical mafia where they want to dictate to us what we should do with our own bodies. And I decided to do this video because I went to the doctor today and I was asked to get a flu shot, a pneumonia shot. I refused because I have done my research and have done my homework and I refuse to have this poison pumped into my body. And I had a flu shot in the past and it was totally ineffective. After I got that shot, I became sick. I've never had the flu and I will never take another flu shot. And as I look at my son today and all of the turmoil that we've gone through over the past 21 years since he was diagnosed with the rare bone cancer at the age of 14, osteogenic sarcoma, and the past 10 to 15 where I have been fighting the system tooth and nail to get the care for my son. And I can truly say that I only got it, I believe, because I went public finally and started exposing the medical mafia as well as our legislators. And I wanted to do this video because election is coming up next Tuesday. We have all these career politicians and what are they doing for us, particularly black people? And I'm addressing this because we Myself and my partner in success, Liana Gardner, just embarked upon a new, a new movement, Emancipation, Free Yourself, the power to change an elevation journey because we have the power to change our own destiny. And I'm asking you to go on my Facebook page, Louise Hicks and Lou Hicks and the Facebook group, Emancipation, Free Yourself. An elevation journey and join us in this fight to take our freedom and our liberty back because as black people actually we've never had the freedom and liberty in America that has been privileged to many others and we are fighting to get that freedom and that liberty that we deserve and I just want to close with I am so thankful that I had the capability to fight the system and to get my son to this point where he is today. Because a year ago, I will not show the picture of what he looked like because it's too painful for me to look at right now. But one day I will share that. And with that being said, do your homework, take control of your own health, and always remember, your power lies within you and let it loose. Thank you for listening.